What's up, Jaycationer? So we made it to a rainy Lourdes, France. Manga Ubesh, I kid you not, I found a Filipino food restaurant in Lourdes. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? We're here in Rome, headed to Lourdes. I wanted to give you guys a little vlog about Catholic cities to visit more people that are Catholic than go to like going to different basilicas and going to mass in different spots so we're doing it here from Rome to Lourdes so let's go What's up, Jaycationers? We're now here in Lourdes, France. The namesake of these two beautiful women right here from Cabuya Laguna. What is your name? L uh, Lourdes. 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 Carino Angeles. See, and you are Maria Lourdes. From Rome, you can take a Ryanair flight. It's only once a day, um, 7.55 flight, just under two hours. We went from 90 degree weather to 65 degree weather. Ang lamig naman po. <laughs> Wala akong jacket po. <laughs> Mar ulan da. Ulan ulan po. Pero maganda ang flight. Smooth landing. We're gonna talk about how Catholics and Filipinos in general like to make their visits and their pilgrimages over to places like Rome, Venice, here, Lourdes. Where else? Uh, where else can we say? Well, not really a pilgrimage, but visiting basilicas. Santiago, Spain are other places where people actually do pilgrimages. But yeah, just visiting like basilicas. And here there's a beautiful one with a place called the Grotto where they have natural healing water, miracle water, right? Yes. And we'll talk more about that. It's not Kangen water. <laughs> it's natural healing water. Right, Bing? Yes. Hi, vacationers. Welcome. Welcome her to name is Bing, but her real name is Lourdes. Okay. That's Angie. All right, what's up, Jaycationers? So we made it to a rainy Lourdes, France. We're here at our hotel. We're near the cathedral, maybe about a five to 10 minute walk. Now it's raining and we got here early. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. You can't check in until two in the hotel. The front desk happily took our luggage to the back to save it for us for the next four hours. So we got to hang out for four hours in the rain, find some food and check out a little bit of Lourdes. Um, now a little bit of a tip for you. Um, it's only two euro to take the bus shuttle into the city and it'll drop you off in like some central point. Um, it's a very hilly city. So if you have a lot of luggage, maybe you'd want to take a taxi. We took a giant taxi, 50 euros one way. I think it was worth it for seven people, but two euros is cheaper if you're looking to be more economic. Manga Ubesh, I kid you not, I found a Filipino food restaurant in Lourdes in the rain and in a maze to get here but we got here Y'all already know Filipino food in Lourdes, France. So y'all already know how I uh, feel about Filipino food sometimes. So I wasn't really in the mood. So I just got this uh, half a gallon of uh, lefe. Half a gallon. Like my grandfather. This is for Baroque. Boom. Hello, mga titas and uncles. Hello. Hi. After half After 90 degree weather, we're in 60 degree weather in the oh, rain. And, and, and after how many days that we haven't tasted food? Now we're in Lourdes, a city named after me. And you. And me. <laughs> and Jello and his swag, Pull and Bear. 
Mari got his mustache shaved finally. <laughs> What did you get, mom? Oh. I got sotong hon and it so looks so heart heartbeat and very warm. So what did you get, bro? I got the pork adobo. You know, I just I had to bring it back. Hey, Mari, what did you get? Oh, well, combo nine pork adobo, pancit, uh, chop suey, and fried rice. Sotong hon, arroz caldo. I got like grilled salmon and veggies. Great friends. How's good? Alright guys, so that was Filipino food in Lourdes, France. Check it out. Alright, we're gonna just go roam around now. I just had the half liter of beer, so I'm like a little tipsy. So I got a sandwicherie, I got the steak and fries, and an orangina. Right. Just waiting for the steak and fries. Oh, baby. Where'd you get a bag? Oh, baby. That's it. What's up, Jaycationers? We are here in our hotel now in Lourdes, France. Check out the view from our room. We got a four single bedroom here in St. Rose. Uh, now it's really close to the Lourdes Cathedral that's nearby where they have the grotto and the holy water that has like miracle healing and stuff. And yeah, this is like. Philippine city like I did thought there are a lot of Filipinos in Barcelona and Rome But like there are bus loads of Filipinos everywhere. There's even a Filipino restaurant downstairs now It's a little overpriced and it's like in the touristy area. So I Think they just cash in on it, but eh, it's cool. Oh, yeah, it's crazy There's a lot of Filipinos here whether they're priest nuns or just um, Filipino Catholics wanting to see this area of the world. We're actually gonna go venture around and have some dinner and try some spots out. So I, I got that American like foot long sub sandwich with fries on it and the fries were so good with the Dijon mustard. I thought it was like steak, like a like steak meat, but it was actually just hamburger meat cut up. But it's still good and uh, it was a lot cheaper than going to the uh, Filipino place. I actually only had that like half a liter beer at the Filipino place, so I was low key a little, a little buzzed a few hours ago. We had like four hours of sleep. Um, now we're headed off. It's a lot colder now, so like look, we went from the 90 plus degree weather in Rome to like, yeah, wearing pants and hoodies. And I had to borrow this hoodie from my little bro Gel because I didn't bring a hoodie. This kid's got the swag swag. And you saw his stuff from, uh, the Vatican yesterday. Yeah, what did what did what it, what it, it do? do? <laughs> Me and Marty just spotted the bar. Look. Yeah. <laughs> what did it do? Hey, Marty. What did it do, baby? baby. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna walk out to Lourdes and go for a little stroll while it's not raining. We're gonna go check out this number one ranked restaurant called Shea Tong Tongs. <laughs> I don't know why Jello's laughing, but Che Tong Tong's is number one. So we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> like we're down in the tourist center of Lourdes, and they have a bunch of shops with like rosaries and holy water and a lot of like souvenirs that tourists can come and get. You can get customized aprons, a bunch of jewelry. Your shirt, Joe. <laughs> so we're walking up to Shea Tong Tongs. Um, it's up the hill. I think Lourdes is a very hilly town, so get ready to walk. But it's not that big of a town, 
We just came from Rome, so we're used to walking. So we are roaming around Lourdes around seven o'clock at night. Shops on Sundays close a little earlier, but they were open like throughout the afternoon. So a lot of the shops in the center are open. But well, we're up on top of the hill right now, kind of near the uh, train station. And uh, we're about to find Shea Tong Tong's for dinner. It's a pizza place, by the way. We left Italy to have pizza. Unfortunately, Shea Tong Tong's couldn't squeeze us in for a reservation. So we just went back down and grabbed a sandwich at the sandwichery. Be forewarned, Lourdes is uh, tourist prices. So they're going to inflate the prices here. Wow, it's like 8 o'clock on a Sunday. And there's all these people going towards the cathedral right now. Some people holding like Spain flags and other types of flags. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned for the second part of Lourdes as we tour the grotto and the sanctuary. To see more content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.